All right, so we're gonna do a little coloring. I think there's not enough videos on how to color this stuff. So um, this is just kind of a tutorial on how to color this stuff. Of course, I have my music in the background. It's a little bit of Peter Bentz playing some, uh, I think Michael Jackson, I don't know what he's playing. I love my music, so gotta have my music. When I'm painting or drawing or anything, I always put my music. So here's what we're doing here. We already did this part over here. <clears throat> it looks pretty good. Look how nice that looks. We use a black in here, kind of a faded six to one black. And what it does, it sits in the back and my rock kind of fades out in the front. How do I get that effect? I'm gonna show you over on here. Look how nice they did a, a great job of texturing these here corners so that they look exactly like this. This is probably the best stack stone that we produced as a, um, <clears throat> as, as doing molds and stuff like that. This one really, really looks good. Okay, so here's the thing. In order to achieve these type of things here, you have, there's technique on everything, of course. So let me show you how I do these techniques on that corner over there. And I'm gonna show you the, from the start to finish, kind of the fades that I get in order to achieve this really realistic rock look. I used five different colors here. It doesn't look like I used five colors there, but I did. Uh, so here's my black is diluted. It's about a six to one. When I put it on here, I'll also throw a little bit of nutmeg on it. And it's kind of dilute, but it, it, you know, it brings it down. So a lot of times I can hit the whole thing kind of black. We do this with the fire pits and stuff, hit a black. Then I'll come over it with a little bit of honey. Kind of gives that little green. I'll throw a little bit, I want to throw some colors on there. So I'll just kind of, when I use the uh, colors, uh, like, you know, uh, this is a, this is about a two to one amber. And I'll use the two to one amber. This is a nutmeg. This is about almost a one to one. The uh, fawn is about a two to one. Now what I do, as you color, and you start using colors, well you start going down, what happens is the minerals are heavier so they're gonna drop to the bottom. And as you go with more color, it's gonna get darker and darker. So always keep it mixed up so you don't get that happening, okay? So here we are. So now we're just gonna kind of coloring up that thing. See, hitting it. Now once I scratch this with sandpaper, it's gonna bring out that, that white color. And that's what I'm, so I'm gonna do a little bit of fawn. And here, see I have a dark one there, and I'm gonna get another dark one. Little, little nutmeg, little black, and I'll get in that dark one up there. Now if we get drips, just kinda hit it like that, okay? Now you see, well in between there, though you have all the, uh, the different colors like, uh, you know, the, 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 to make it look dark. We want it to look dark so that way it, it comes through. So I'll really, uh, I'll, I'll do that by, by drying up the color like that, kinda scratching it on there, and now still use it inside the, the, uh, the grout lines. Or you can get the, put it on, over here I have like kind of a canvas, uh, a, a matte a cloth down there, then I'll dry it up there, and then I'll bring it here so it doesn't drip. I don't want drips. And then you just get a little brush like that. And now it's in between here. And it's in between all of these spots, and that's what we want. And the dark bean in the back really makes it pop. Like over here, I don't have enough of it here. So I'll bring a little bit in there. And that black, it's gonna make that rock look deeper and kind of sunken in there. So I'll get a bit like that. I'll throw a little nutmeg with it. I'll, uh, you know, throw a little, I'll go like that. Kind of give it a, just kind of scratch, you know, all along there, just a little bit of color. Remember, one color, uh, color, you know, you can even look at here where it doesn't have enough of the dark color. Get a little nutmeg, a little black, and we'll, and we'll just kind of, see how you just kind of hit that color like that? Look at here. A little bit like that, because rocks are made up with all, of all kinds of different colors. When we scratch it, it'll pull it off. But let's go in between here. So I'm gonna get a little dark, and I'm gonna I'm gonna dry it off. And I'll do a little drying off there, and then I'm gonna use it in between here, over here where it's kind of light in there, and and that way that grout line is what about a six to one black, and it's bringing it's really kind of taking it down. Maybe maybe you can go to five to one or four to one, depending on how dark you want it in the background. And I'll just start darkening this up in the back there, pulling that in there. <clears throat> And now, see it's just making everything pop. And over there, maybe it's not dark enough, but look how nice and dark it is here. And I'll bring, at the light, the, the, the top of it, I'll bring some light colors. And if you have a drip, you little nutmeg and fawn go over this stuff here. That's kind of the, uh, the essence of what these colors are here, kind of a nutmeg and fawn. I'll throw a little bit of, uh, of the warm colors would be like the amber, and the amber I throw a little bit here, a little bit there, like, a, you know, I'll throw some on here. I threw some honey, so I'm gonna throw a little amber on it here, down here, and, and if it starts to drip, just kinda 
you know, just kind of scratch the whole thing around there like that. Just just paint the whole rock. Just kind of scatter it. You know what I mean? Just get the get that brush dry. Like over here, I don't have enough color. So here I can do a little bit of a little bit of amber on there. It kind of gives me a little, little here, a little amber, a little amber here. I got some on the corner of that one. Either way, you're, you're you're making this thing pop. That's what we want. So let's do a little bit more. Now the black, you can dilute it with a little bit of the, the nutmeg and hit the whole rock. See there? And in between there, while you're doing that, you color up the, 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 the seams. And it does, you know, it, it looks nice. It, it, well, you know it does? Look at that dark how it picks up, uh, think about brushes, you scrub that all in there. But it picks up all of those uh, textures that you didn't pick up before. Okay, so let's do this here. Get some more nutmeg over here. Uh, we can use a little bit of uh, warm colors, and I call it the warm color, the amber, I call it the warm. Uh, terracotta is another one, and it kind of brings it up. So look how nice that's looking. Look at that, I see a lot of white and a little bit of stuff where we didn't color. So I'm gonna go over that, kind of scrub it in there, and make sure I get that. I don't wanna do too much. You look at how this color has all kinds of different colors in it. Another thing I can do is, uh, you can go in there with, uh, with the light colors afterwards, and that is like the honey and stuff like that, and it really, adds a lot to it. It just kind of adds, even if you have a dark color, you can get honey, which is almost a non-dilute. I don't dilute it at all. And you can put that over and it kind of makes it pop a little bit. And after it dries is where you really see it. Here I have a little bit of drip there. I have some drip over here. So how do we get rid of that? Well, when I scratch it, it'll get rid of a lot of it. But the dark colors will always do that. I'm going to use my dark colors now and uh, let's do some grout. I'll get a grout in here. A little grout in there, a little bit in there. Down over here. This stack stone is, is gonna be, it's really popular, but more than that is that it's, it's uh, it looks really good. It looks like a real, somebody took the time and mortar jointed some really good stack stone rock in here. And that authentic realism is what we're looking for. So, uh, all right. A little bit too much white there. So let's get a little bit of uh, nutmeg in there. A little bit of warm colors. See, almost like you're, you have a palette of colors and you're just trying different ones. That, you know, if you, like a lot of times if you're, if you're painting, when you paint, you have a, uh, 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 let's you're painting water. Well, water could be green, blue, red, white, whatever, because it's a reflective, it's a reflective unit inside your, inside your uh, 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 painting. So whatever it reflects off like that. Well, here, rocks have so many different colors, but you still gotta kinda have a theme. So if I have kind of a nutmeg, or I have a, have kind of a, most, most rock is nutmeg. So you're, gonna, you're not gonna go wrong with nutmeg. But black is something that all rocks have, whether it be a, a scatter, you know, if you, if you scattered it there, it's all, everything has, a black is in almost in everything. You could sit there and do that, right? That, just like that, see I got actually all over me. <laughs> got a tan now. So, but you can see you can do that, and it'll pick it up. You can sit there and stab it, and it'll still pick up all that. Because uh, little dots and stuff like that, they're, they're picked up. So I'll get it. A lot of times you get a sprayer and spray over this thing, a fine spray, and it'll pick it up because real rocks or veneer rocks have that same uh, color effect in it. So we'll finish coloring this up here. I'm gonna hit a little bit of light colors. Remember, always better to go light than dark. Uh, when you're doing a diluted dark, it's okay. Don't go sit there and make black and not dilute it and it'll look it'll look absolutely it'll blow it'll mess everything up you know you can scratch it but it just won't look as good you want to make sure that you have a consistent uh, color and here at the bottom I'm going to add some warm colors and then we'll finish it off with our uh, nutmeg you can almost use uh so I'm just I'm not even really you don't got to be all precise and, you know stuff like that just get the thing colored <clears throat> and as you see you use all kinds of different colors on there. It takes on different uh, different effects. Like you see the thing, I used a little bit of black in there at the end there, a little bit of thing just to make that last part dark. And I'll make it in, and then I'll put it in between the grout, grout lines, of course. There you go. You can make it, you can color a full rock with that diluted black and it doesn't, it doesn't hurt it. It goes right along with it because you're going to get dark rocks. Dark rocks look good. You know what what's nice about dark is that it dark uh, shows off uh, textures more. If the rock is real textured, you have a real white rock, 
it prisms and reflects and it doesn't really show you all that. Here, the darker it is, the more texture you see. So it's, it's not bad to have a darker color, even though people go, man, it's too dark. And that looked like it was too dark at first, but actually it lightens up. And so you can all, you know, all this will lighten up. Yes, we use a few dark colors now, but once it gets going, it darkens up pretty good. So I'm gonna use a little bit of my nutmeg here. Looks like we went a little dark here, but not a problem, okay? A little warmness over here with, with the, make sure you're just consistent. You know, if, you, if you're gonna use uh, these other colors here, make sure you throw a little bit of that amber in there to make sure that you're consistent. You're good. Okay, I think we're good. It doesn't look like we really did much or that we colored that much. Overlay colors. Uh, you can always go dark, darker. It's harder to go lighter. Unless you just sandpaper the whole thing. But we don't want to do that. So, another thing is lacking a little bit of a, of a warm color. We call it, what's the warm color card again? Amber. So that's my warm color, amber or terracotta. Okay, here I lack some. I'm gonna throw a little bit down there. You know, little of my black colors in there. Darken it up. Dilute the dark with a little bit of uh, terracotta. I'm mean, not terracotta, but uh, nutmeg. Then I'll throw some fawn in there to kind of bleed it out. So to make the rock go fade from dark to dark to light, all in here. Okay. Good now. The last piece is over here. And these are kind of light, so let me add some warmth there. A little color in that. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna let this dry up and then we're gonna scratch. And this these area here, it's kind of wet still, so we don't wanna we don't wanna do mess with it anything with until it dries up. And I think we're about done with this. Right here, I'm gonna throw a little bit of this uh, so here we go. That looks good. Okay, now on this, you get a lot of drip down there, a lot of darker rocks. I'm gonna give me a little color in there. And I think we're I think we're about done. And now looks good. Looking real good. The consistent, you look at the rock there. Now I might do a little spray of what we have on this, but uh, for right now. I think that's going to do it. matching the other side to this side. Let me tell you how I did it again. Throw some honey in there, kind of base it with honey. Kind of throw it all up in there. You have to do anything, see how it drips down? Just do the whole thing, it drip down. Do a little bit of uh, this, a little bit of warm colors in here. We do some warm colors. There's some warm colors up there, up in here. And you know this, where it hasn't been colored yet, it's gonna dry it out right away. And you want to make sure that you're consistent. Uh, this color is going to go around the other side. Otherwise, <laughs> that won't look good either. If you have kind of a, a, a dark color and then you have a, a light color to really show, you want to show the whole rock consistent, you know. You're going to have a little there, a little bit of amber, a little bit of amber. Make sure that the whole, the whole rock gets it. You have consistent.
And in order to really kind of get it going, I mean, you want to make sure that this is, uh, you know, colored in a timely fashion. I sit here and try to detail every rock. You don't really need to do that. You can just, you know, make sure you just have different colors. Try to throw a little black in there. It, you know, you can throw the black in there just to kind of give a little bit of a, an a accent or antique. the concrete and bring back the concrete color and then you'll have a little bit of white dark white dark and it just it, it looks like tumbled rock like it's pro the, the profile is what gets scratched and really gives it that really it, it just it just profile it just uh it, it, it extensiates the the uh, profile and so you'll see that now i'm gonna use some 60 grit paper over here and uh that's wet so we don't want to use that right away now i already started doing some of this here let's take it on here and this will bring it really consistent. This rock in here. I fold this in half. With a paper and I scratch all that stuff in there. See that rock there? It just came alive. As much as rocks can come alive. <laughs> so, over here, same thing. Colors are so important. Okay, let's see how that looks. See, now it's all come together. Uh, you used all those different colors. You can't see like a different color here and there. You just kind of see a variation of color. But what's nice about it is that <clears throat> here's where you can't see. You can see the difference there, but you can't really can't really tell until you scratch this thing. And once you scratch it. Carve, which can't carve. I, I mean, it, maybe you can carve this good. I don't know. That's pretty darn good. That's a. This is a whole different way of doing it. Uh, customizing just straight on this right here. So you don't have to. Now you don't have to go out and get metal and steel and all are the same product. So we have the same product creating everything, and that's really what you want. You want something that. That is, I mean, it's consistent with this. I can put the pa panel on top. You don't need to put wood and steel and all that stuff again. The concrete is the substrate. <clears throat> the substrate. So the substrate is, it's all one piece. That's what's great about it. These come together and you can't even tell where they were meshed together. You can't tell. The rocks look as consistent as anything. Let me ask anybody else here. That's just my opinion. Uh, Ken, yeah. walking through the warehouse here. Come over here. Ken's one of our sales guys. Can you tell what we stopped and what we, looks like we molded it all together. No, I can't tell. Yeah, you can't tell, huh? It looks like one finished rock. Although it's been two different panels. Even up close, it looks like you're going to feel it looks like you're I didn't see you get that close, get closer. No, is that, you're right, it's right. So, you know, we're walking from back over here where the camera view is, you can see, it's pretty darn consistent. Oh, we got some scratching doing this side. So, we scratch this up. Now it's consistent. Right guys? Let's see. Looking good. Looking good. Man, I like that. Alright. Let me finish it up. Alright, so brand new mold. Uh, this is really, really as I mean we keep getting better and better and better. We make mistakes, but we keep getting, you know, we keep trying to uh, counter our mistakes and getting better at this thing. 
So don't be afraid to contact our office. Why would you be afraid? Would you be afraid? How about that? Would you be afraid? Shouldn't be afraid, okay. Dave. Okay, nobody afraid. <laughs> no fear involved. Just <laughs> don't forget to call or contact our office and uh, get yourself a mold like this because this right here, I'm telling you, it's going to take you to the next level, boy. I tell you, tell you, put countertops together with this bad boy. This is nice. I like the random rock. That used to be my favorite. Now this is my favorite. We even have some cobblestone over there on that side. <clears throat> but right now, this is my favorite. Let's go look at that cobblestone real quick. Here's another one of these incredible pieces where you can't tell that it was all put together. Uh, you know, these are all mudded together, different panels. But man, this looks really great. Look at this thing. Looks like real cobblestone was put inside there. This is another panel system. Listen, tie into everything we have. We have so many new products, so many new designs and ideas with those products. So until next time, I'll see you.